You deserve products that won't crap out on you, and I'm sure you value someone else's opinion prior to you making a purchase. That's where I step in. I made this standing desk cable management guide with the qualifier being all the products must be ordered from Amazon. No IKEA, no obscure websites. That way, if you, the W gang, and all non-subscribers want to replicate any part of my desk setup cable management, you can easily find the products in the link in the description below that ships worldwide. I'm a firm believer that you should pick out and install your surge protector first. Here's why. Where you place your surge protector matters and there are four things I think you should consider before buying one. The first thing is safety. The Tron surge protector has a 4000 joule energy rating which means it protects my devices from surges, spikes, or lightning strikes. This surge protector also has four mounting tabs with screws included. This takes the guesswork out of installing it since most surge protectors can be hung from the back. The surge protector in my previous desk setups were mounted with strong double-sided tape, but the problem was the surge protector always fell off my desk even though I installed the double-sided tape according to instructions. Those days of my power strip falling off my desk are now over. The next consideration was the number of outlets and USB connections. 13 widely spaced outlets and 4 USBs are more than enough for me. And at the time of making this video, I'm only using four of the outlets and I've yet to use any of the USB outlets. The last important consideration was the length of the power cord. Part of the magic of hiding power cords in a standing desk setup is making sure the power cord is long enough. The five foot length allowed me to run it along the leg of the standing desk and plug it into the wall. If you learned anything at all today, surge protector placement and the cord length is key. If I would have bought a surge protector with a two fit cord, that would have been too short to run down the leg of my standing desk and into an outlet. Looking at the Amazon listing, 86% of buyers love this product. To see what they're saying, check out the link in the description below. When it comes to running wires underneath your desk, these adhesive cable management clips by Soulwit are clutch. I created a path under my standing desk that leads to my surge protector and holds all my cables. So whether I have something on the left side or the right side of my desk, these cable management clips hold them in place. For example, the outlet that is clamped to my desk has to be plugged into something. The power cord is too short to reach the wall outlet, but it's long enough to plug into the surge protector. You can see how I created a path and fed the cables into these cable management clips. This step is a reminder why I say it's important to know where you want to place your surge protector prior to putting these adhesive cable management clips in place. These cable management clips passed the 30 day test since none of them have fallen off, which is impressive considering how light they are and the number of cables I have in some of them. Additionally, I'm not the only one impressed considering 75% of you liked it enough to give it five stars in your review. Check out some pictures uploaded by reviewers in the link below. Sidebar, I know as a viewer you hate hearing being asked to subscribe, but if you appreciate my no BS approach, I would appreciate you connecting with me and joining the rest of the W gang. Now, originally I wasn't going to include the AVOT monitor arm in this video, but it has some cable management features that are worth mentioning. The cable management built into the AVOT monitor arm hides the cables from coming from my monitor as well as the peripherals around it. The 8K DisplayPort cable, power supply, an HDMI cable, and the cable from the Govi light bar are fed through the monitor arm for a nice sleek look. The power supply and the Govi light cables are clipped into the adhesive cable management clips and plugged into the surge protector. This video I made was solely dedicated to the setup of the AVOT monitor arm for my ultra wide monitor and is something I think you should watch next. The two USBs and the auxiliary cables embedded in the monitor arm as well as the 8K DisplayPort cable need to connect to my computer. This is where the Alex Tech cable sleeve comes into play. The 1.25 inch cable sleeve has enough space for me to fit multiple cables inside. I took the guesswork out of you figuring out which one you need so feel free to copy my purchase by checking out the link in the description below. If I didn't have this cable sleeve, then obviously the cables will hang all over the place while being connected to my computer. One of the things I like about this cord is that it's easy to cut and it has a professional look. Actually, that's two things. The 10 foot version was more than enough length, so I ended up cutting mine, resulting in a second piece I can use for another setup. 
Because I chose the black version and I have a black wall, it's easy for this cable sleeve to blend into the wall in the desk setup photos that I take. That's something else to consider when you're designing your workspace. Additionally, this cable sleeve has been purchased over 41,000 times on Amazon and 78% of the ratings are five stars. If it wasn't clear by now, you should know I'm not a fan of using double-sided tape, but I have to because the power brick for my monitor cable is very short. I purchased and used the Gorilla Heavy Duty double-sided mounting tape, but real talk, some of the reviews are atrocious, so be careful with this product. In my blog post that accompanies this video, I will be sure to update you guys on if the double-sided tape can hold the power brick in place under my desk. Actually, no, I'm done with this tape for good. Once again, it can't be relied upon and you can see my power bank fell off the desk. I bought this industrial strength Velcro adhesive instead, which is probably what I should have bought in the first place. W gang, do you think this will work? And are any of you guys using adhesive back Velcro in your home?